All right, this is Master ASL 10 uh, conversation vocabulary. Drop or drop off. Emergency, emergency. Four, job is a loan sign, so we'll talk about what that means in class. Plan, plan, and wow, wow. Um, advertise, apply, cashier, and then remember this would be like a cash register and then we have to add our agent marker when we want the occupation. So would be, we would count and we'd have an accountant. We would design and have a designer. Um, hire or welcome, law, lawyer, measure, engineer, soldier, you have your uh, hands one above the other on the chest like you're holding a gun. Optometrist would be an eye doctor or doctor. Physical therapist, we do our P's down our chest and then we would do our T sign for like help but with an initialized T. Program, and then we have a programmer. Dentist and teeth, no agent marker. Uh, therapy and therapist. And then a wrench and a mechanic. Okay, so we have to add those agent markers. Um, then for some foods, we have apple, banana, cherry, fruit, grapes, melon, peach, pineapple, potato, salad, strawberry, tomato, and vegetables. And lots of stuff you have to fingerspell. Apricot, artichoke, asparagus, avocado, um, bell pepper, berry, blackberry, broccoli, carrot, you'll see signs, carrot, you can spell it too, cauliflower, celery, corn or corn because it's not always on the cob, cucumber, garlic, grape uh, fruit, you can't sign like grape and then fruit, you can't combine it that way, uh, mango, um, papaya, Pear, I've seen pear signed or pear. Um, peas, you'll see peas. Um, plum, radish, raisins, you'll see the R by the I's or you can spell raisins. Raspberries, spinach, um, string beans for green beans, you'll see that. Um, so, or you can spell it. And then tangerine. And then we have bacon, butter, cheese, eggs hot dogs, meat, milk, and turkey. And again, we're going to spell clam, crab. You might find some signs for um, shrimp, crab, and lobster. They'll also be spelled ham, lamb, lobster, oyster, uh, pork, pork chops, ribs, roast beef, salami, um, sushi, tofu, yogurt, um, some things you might find signs for here and there, but overall they're, they're finger spelled as well. And then we have candy, chocolate, like we're spreading frosting on a cake, cookie, dessert, and ice cream. And we're going to finger spell brownie, cake, chips, chips I've seen, um, pie you'll see. So you will find some signs for food and then some things will be finger spelled as well. Then we have bread, cereal, French fries, hamburger, pizza or pizza, um, sandwich, soup, spaghetti, toast. Um, here's another sign for cereal. You'll see that. You'll see it with the, the spoon sign. We'll finger spell bagel, beans, burrito, casserole, grits, juice, because uh, uh, it looks a little like jealous. Um, you'll see ketchup, you'll see kids do cats up as a play on words, uh, mayo, milkshake, mustard, mustard can look like mayonnaise though too, so um, within uh, a kitchen setting you could get away with that so it would be obvious because you could point also. Nachos, pancake, pasta, pasta, um, pepperoni, rice you'll see with an R spooning it in. Taco, you'll see taco sometimes, and then tortilla and waffle. For animals, we have alligator, 
bear, deer, dolphin, dolphin, um, elephant or elephant for the trunk, giraffe, hippo, lion, monkey, shark, snake, tiger, turtle, and whale. Okay, and then obviously there's more food signs, there's more animal signs. These are the ones we're focusing on for our chapter assignments. Um, you're definitely able to look up other things that you're interested in and would like to learn. Thank you.